What is up, YouTube? Today we're going to be going over jokes run defense out of the 335 wide. Now, I will say this this is an extremely aggressive run defense, and as with every other man defense, you can basically glitch out the man defense and get numbers on the side of the ball that you need. So, we're going to be running the 335 wide. We're going to start out in this I form close, the HB stretch. Everybody knows it. Okay, perfect. We've got dive set as an audible. We're going to go 335 wide. We're utilizing the Seattle Seahawks because they have two people, two very important pieces to the puzzle Bobby Wagner with Enforcer slash Taco Supreme, and then Jadavion Clowney with Secure Tackler. Now, Jadavion Clowney, you could switch into an outside linebacker if you need to. So there's just an added benefit with it. On top of that, they also have Shaquem Griffin with 90 speed. If you can have somebody like that with a Secure Tackler, gonna be freaking amazing that's gonna be exactly what you're looking for so 335 wide we're gonna be going into this cover two man now this has been out for since the beginning of madden 20 so frankly i don't think anybody can claim this as their run defense when it's been out for a long time it's just barely starting to break the surface so this really isn't jokes defense this could be playbook the playbook.ggs this is could be your boy savages this is could be jokes it could be somebody else's it could be my running defense heck it could be anybody so 335 wide cover two man again very aggressive run defense what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and press what this does is this brings our safeties down a little bit closer into the box with the way that run defense works this year man defense tends to be a little bit better uh, against more so focused on the stretch defense or, or stretch runs or any kind of run to the outside with this particular defense it's going to be relying heavily upon your safeties to be able to collapse the box and make a play on the ball carry now with our user keeping in mind with bobby wagner we do have enforcer and uh, tackle supreme so you can spam the a button sometimes you'll find you'll get some better warp animations to the ball but in this recommendation i'd say have high speed safeties with some good tackle stats and if i don't know if this is possible as i don't play much at all this year if it is possible to have secure tackle on your safeties i really do recommend doing so especially when you're going to get somebody like eric dickerson that can just shake off a tackle just because it's what he does so make sure you have at least enforcer or secure tackler on one of your safeties and you just switch them out as needed in this case we're going to go ahead and just use what we've got seattle seahawks i think they're the best team for stopping the run and again this is a very aggressive run defense there's there's basically no pass defense <laughs> whatsoever at least over the top the last part to this is you want to spread your d-line and then take your user and you want to be about a yard ahead of the safeties this is going to come into play when we start going against dives or in any kind of inside run if you're trying to hover right here as if you were to run that pinch dog to press version out of three four odd i don't know how to run it so i'm not making a video on that you're going to find yourself getting picked up and then one of the safeties both the safeties oftentimes are going to get picked up as well so we're going to hover right about here and we're going to go ahead and run stretch to the right snap the ball i don't expect this to work okay why apparently my guys didn't get dropped in despise i'm pretty sure i dropped him in despise maybe not but if you drop him in despise you'll find that you're going to get a lot more safety help as well let's go ahead and just run this one more time i know it's fourth and five but we're going to go ahead and get the defense set up correctly apparently i screwed up this time i don't know how i did that but we're going to go back into hb stretch same thing three through five wide Cover two man, man defense just plays it a lot better. Press, spread D line, put both safeties into spies. We'll double check this time. Okay, they're in spies. And then drop your user, beat just right in front of the safeties. And then we're going to go ahead and snap the ball. And it's right there. They play the run a lot better. And we're able to contain it to the outside. Now, two things I don't like about this. First, I've already talked about how this is an extremely aggressive run defense. And you leave yourself over the top if there's a huge speed mismatch. You're leaving yourself vulnerable to being bombed. On top of that, you'll find that sometimes there will be those instances in where it's one-on-one -on -one with you versus them. So offense, you generally have a little bit easier of a time to either stop and go juke because the player that's usually the defender, you really have to guess. And if you click off, you're going to get punished by jukes or spins. So we're going to go ahead and get this all switched up and we will be right back. All right, so we've talked a little bit about iPhone close. We'll go into the HB lead dive, and that's going to wrap up a little bit iPhone close, and we'll go into these two tight end sets. So three through five wide, and these two tight end sets, I want to make this clear. We're going to be talking about how you can work your way around the man glitch as well, so stay tuned for that. So cover team man, this is where it becomes very important to have your user backed off, so one of these safeties can help make a play as well. 
as a user in this situation, if it's an inside run, your responsibility is just to fill up any kind of gap that you may see getting open. I found generally it's going to be the left side is where you're going to fill, but ultimately it's going to come down to your decision making and just filling where you expect there to be a hole. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and run left, and he's right there getting linebacker off the edge, backfield, loss of yards. So you'll find that two things are going to happen. I know I'm saying this a lot. Safeties are either going to play or one of the outside linebackers are going to get in the backfield. It's almost never going to be your user that is getting there. So be very careful when running this defense because a lot of people like how they like to run dive is they'll hand it off. And originally it's going to be designated running the middle. But then you'll find that they're going to go ahead and bounce it to the outside. And you got to be really careful about that as a user. <laughs> because if they do decide to bounce it to the outside, you're not going to have anybody out there to be able to play it as effectively. So let's go ahead and get back into this HP lead dive. Then we'll talk about this I form tight and strong tight with a man glitch. So again, press. That's just going to bring your safeties down. Spread the line. Put both safeties into spies. Take your user and drop them back here. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to hop off Bob Wagner. I'm going to try my best to just bounce it to the outside and see if we can get a little bit better of a reaction right there. You can see, bam, off the outside we go. And Derrick Henry is going to arm bar. But with secure tackler or whatever it's called, you're going to get wrapped up pretty easily. So that kind of gives you an idea of some things that you need to be worried about. If you do overcommit to the middle of the field, you're going to find yourself vulnerable to being able to get them to bounce it to the outside instead and off to the races. So be having good vision is going to be really crucial in running this kind of defense. Now, let's go back into I-Form. Let's go I-Form tight. We're going to go ahead and just get straight into the glitch, how they glitch out your main defense. Again, running, it's a numbers game. It's really, really not that difficult. I think a lot of people overcomplicate it. We'll set this defense up the same way. Go ahead and quick adjust both these safeties. I'm going to go ahead and glitch out the man defense. So the way, if you guys don't know how to do it, you flip the run with the right stick. So we got the run to the left. And then we're going to do motion this guy over. You're going to let him set his feet. And then you're going to go ahead and flip the play. And right now, we have the numbers on that side of the field. But we're going to go ahead and glitch out everything else. So let's go ahead and flip the play and snap the ball mid flips right there bam off races we go again same idea arm bar get off me and you can see a huge gain of yards now there is one way to prevent this it does leave you vulnerable to some other things as well so there's quite a bit of give and take obviously if we were to be using that situation we're probably going to be able to get to the outside a lot better what the cpus can do and be able to contain the run so we're going to go ahead and skip this, go back into cover two man, HB stretch. We're going to do the same exact adjustment, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move this guy. And by just moving him, you'll notice when you shift this guy over, he's no longer following. But here's the issue. If we check our man assignments, if they were to just streak B and you were to still play the same run defense, very aggressive, guess what? You just gave up a touchdown over the top. The only way that you can currently kind of work your way around with this is by manning up the same side corner to B and then moving him out. One thing that is nice about this is by doing this, you can then free up this corner to be able to come down crashing on a blitz. So now that we've got our defense quote unquote set up, we're going to go ahead and flip this run and we're going to snap the ball right. And you can see it's going to play a little better. Obviously, if we're using it, we're going to be able to contain the run and get him either at the offensive line or potentially for a loss of yards, maybe even just a short gain of a yard or two. We're going to go ahead and do that one more time. So HB stretch, cover two man, press, spread line, spy, spy, hop over to this guy, just shake him a little bit so he doesn't follow him. Motion this guy over after you flip the run, motion him over. You see he's no longer following. Again, we got to make the same adjustment. So this is a lot more hands on with it. So this is kind of where you got to be careful with it. And then we'll say, let's just go ahead and blitz B because now we are no longer have to worry about man assignment that direction. Now we're going to flip the play. And again, I'm going to try my best right here to make a play on the ball. 
strats. We got the strats contained. If we were to make a little bit better of a user play, I'm not the best at using a D line. This is kind of what's going to happen right there. This is why I don't like this run defense. But if you're able to have a little bit better of a user and not have to focus on two teams at once, you're going to find you'll be able to contain the run a lot more efficiently than what I just did. So if you notice that they are starting to motion people over and do that motion glitch, the best way to counter that is just start to go into a zone defense, whether it be a cover two zone, that's probably going to be the one I'd utilize, or a cover three, cover four, whatever the case may be. That's where man defense you're going to find is going to be a really big struggle and where you need to start having some zone defense instead because then with zone principles, they no longer follow them. For example, let's go into this cover two sink. So we're going to go back into this HP stretch. We're going to go and do the same thing. Flip the run. Motion this guy over. He may look like he falls, but eventually he does drop back. And then we're going to flip the play completely. Press. Spread the line. Drop both safeties. Oop. This time it's different. Again, be careful of that. Drop both safeties into the spies. And then just play the stretch. So this time, you can see right there, bam, huge difference. Able to get him in the backfield so if you notice they're doing this man glitch defense or man glitch offense on you you need to start working in zone if until they stop doing that and unless they don't know how to do it start working a man and then if they start doing that switch it over to zone maybe even go into three four odd instead i don't like uh, i don't really like this run defense all too much because especially with man defense it's too easy to dumb it out but let's go ahead and talk about one last thing. This is going to carry over to any kind of two tight end set. And this is going to be your inside runs, including ISO, dive, cover two man. We're not going to glitch out the run defense behind this. But we're going to go and press, put both safeties into spies. And then we're going to back our user off. And we're going to play this ISO run. Again, just making sure that you don't overcommit to the gap. Because if you do, you'll find that they're going to be able to bounce it to the outside a lot more easily. And then just get a big game. Like right there, you can see if they were to get a little bit better at blocking downfield. Derrick Henry is obviously going to want to bounce out to the outside, and off the races he goes. So we'll do this one more time. HB ISO, cover two man, press, spread the line, very aggressive run defense. I kind of don't like this run defense because of how aggressive it is, because you have no help over the top. But HB ISO, move your guy back to roughly right about in front of the safeties. Snap the ball, and just fill the gap that you think you need to fill. In that case, it was the A gap on the left side. And so we fill it, safeties are there to help, linebacker gets off a block, and we're getting him in the backfield yet again. So that's going to take care of this video. Again, this defense is universal with whatever you may go against. I will say this isn't going to work too well against QB Blast or goal line because just of how many tight ends you have out on the field. Now, obviously, if you're playing salary cap, it's going to be some different personnel you can run into. But if you're going against QB Blast, I really strongly suggest using the 3-4 odd. And checking out the link down below in the description for a full run defensive guide. It just breaks down run defense completely from simple to more advanced. So that's going to take care of this video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, get in the lab. This has been Team Meister. See ya.